And today I'd like to welcome Jackie Reeder. Jackie Reeder is with uh, ITS here on, and has been involved in GIS in the state of Idaho for quite a number of years now. I've known Jackie, uh, and she's going to be presenting creating multi-layer pop-ups with Arcade. The floor is all yours, Jackie, and thank you for doing this presentation for us. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you, Keith. Um, so yes, today I'm going to be showing you a quick demo for how to create uh, pop-ups using other layers in your web map. So this project came about, um, like Keith mentioned, I uh, work on a contract for ITS. I'm working with Wilma Robertson on her broadband team. And we were tasked with creating an application that would allow internet service providers um, to kind of sketch out their proposed project areas uh, that they're trying to get grant money for. Um, and essentially the criteria for the grant funding was kind of comes down to the number of locations that the FCC determines are either underserved or unserved for broadband. Um, so counting those, um, those location points for these really irregular polygons was kind of a critical point of you know, the, the need for the app. We ended up creating an experience builder um, and I found um, a couple of expressions that I modified um, from this uh, from this page. It's a really handy um, shortcut to have in your back pocket. Um, I ended up using the function feature set by name for this, but as you can tell, there's so many different functions that you can um, play around with and use instead of feature set by name um, or instead of intercept like I'm going to show you. Um, there's a a ton of stuff that you can do to kind of modify these expressions to get the values that you want to show in your pop-ups. So the first expression counts the points that intersect a polygon. So um, on the left-hand side, you can see the example where this um, polygon that I just created this, it's just a fake project area. Um, it sums up the total number of points that fall within that polygon. The red points are locations that the FCC has determined are unserved. And then the orange points are uh, points that the FCC has determined are underserved. Um, another point that uh, is critical for that project um, are community anchor institutions. So those are points like uh, libraries and schools, government buildings, um, basically just places that should definitely be well served for broadband. Um, so there's multiple layers here, but they're all showing up in the pop-up for the project area polygon layer. And it's using this expression over on the right. It's a super simple expression, um, you know, just using that feature set by name and then referencing the map. And then you just replace the layer name with the layer that you're pulling information from. And then uh, you can rename those variables, uh, you know, something that's more applicable to your project. Um, but that's essentially it. Um, and I'll demo this in just a minute. But the other expression that we used, um, basically it's kind of the reverse, right? So the previous expression um, was pulling point data into a polygon. This is kind of the opposite. It's pulling um, polygon data um, into points that it intersects. So in this example on the left, um, we've got polygons uh, that represent legislative districts, and then we've got our address points. So you can click on the address point and get your um, legislative district. And then, um, and then you don't have to worry about creating another field in your address layer or anything. You can just pull it directly from the other layer. Um, and then when the, if the information gets updated, um, it's, it updates dynamically. So it, it just calculates this on the fly. So you don't have to worry about, you know, doing another analysis and doing another intersection. It's just always going to be there in your pop-up. So um, that uses the expression over on the right. And it's even more of a simple expression. Um, basically, you just replace the layer name um, in that feature set by name with the layer you're pulling um, information from, in this case, it'd be the legislative district polygons. And then you update the attribute field. 
uh, to the field that you're wanting to pull the value from. And then again, you can uh, rename the variable, something that's more applicable to your project. So I'm gonna just do a quick demo on how to actually make this work in your map. So I've got my map pulled up here. Um, and this first set of layers, um, we've got uh, the CAIs, that's the Community Anchor Institutions. Um, those are the points that are, like I said, um, libraries, schools, government facilities. And then we've got the FCC locations. Um, I have a filter on this layer, so it's only displaying underserved and unserved, again, in that orange and red um, points. And then we have our project area polygon layer. And since uh, this is the layer that we're going to be clicking on to get our, our information. So this is what we want to create the pop-up on. So I'll select this layer, go to our pop-ups, and then we go to attribute expressions, and then add an expression. And I already have this typed out here, so I'll just copy and paste. So this is the exact same um, expression that was in my like third slide. The only thing that I've changed here is I've just literally changed feature or uh, layer name to the actual name of the layer. And then I'll give this um, a better name so we can find it later. And save that. And then I'm also going to create another expression for the community anchor institutions. So again, this is literally just a, a copy paste from the slide. The only thing that I changed was right here, which is the name of the layer. And then I'll update this name as well. So essentially what that did is We've just added two variables to the project area polygon layer, um, but it's pulling information from the other layers in that group. And um, it's worth noting too that it doesn't have to be in the same group. Um, I just did this for, you know, de demonstrative purposes here. But um, you could pull, you could do this for any of your layers in that are in the same web map. So now that we've got those expressions, we can delete that. We'll add a text pop-up and we'll just say the curly brackets bring up your attributes. And these are all just attributes that are already in that polygon layer. And then we scroll to the bottom and we've got our two expressions that we just made. So we can say Expression one is the CAIs. So we'll save that. And then you can see this um, polygon is highlighted here. It's just calculating on the fly how many community anchor institutions and how many um, underserved points are within that, that polygon. And then um, we can edit too. Um, and so we can make this smaller. And once we update it, the pop-up is gonna update on the fly as well. So pretty cool. Um, and then the next um, example, I've got an address point layer here, and then we've got our legislative districts. So I'll just turn those off for a minute. So since we want to click on an address point to pull up the legislative district, we'll create the pop-up on the address Idaho address layer. So we'll go to our pop-up and then add an expression. I've got my expression here. 
an extra space. And again, this is literally just copied and pasted from like that fourth slide. Um, the only things I updated on this are the layer name and then the field from that layer that I want to pull up the value of. And I'll rename this. So we can find it later. Okay. And then we can go ahead and create our text pop up. And I'll just say this address is in. And then we scroll to the bottom. There's our legislative districts expression. And now any point you click on, um, it'll just pull up the, the district that it belongs to. So they're pretty simple, but um, you know, like I showed with that um, example from the developers page, uh, there's a lot of um, easy customization that you can do um, to just get these to, to function a little differently, depending on your project. Um, but that is about all I had if anybody we want to open it up to questions.